This is a class in Aikido, which is a form of self-defense. The sensei or teacher, Kaito Toi, is recognized as the greatest authority in Aikido. We will talk to the sensei and see demonstrations of how and what it's all about. Our other topics on common ground are black politics and the inside view of that in the world of the handicap. Join us right after the best of CBS. Good evening and welcome to Common Ground. My name is Warner Saunders. You have just been seeing a demonstration in Aikido, one of the best known arts in the entire world. We have with us tonight some people who will be discussing that subject of Aikido. We have a translator with us and her name is Mrs. Lee Ao, the sensei or teacher himself, Kohichi Tohei, and one of the members of the club, Marty Langdon. Thank you very much for appearing on Common Thank Ground, you. all of you. Thank sensei, you. and Sensei is in Japanese teacher. So when we refer to Sensei, we, we talk about the teacher. What, is your, what are your credentials? What are you in relationship to other people who are in your field? I'm studying uh, real truth of universe and after I get it I want to introduce to everybody, I want to help everybody. What degree black belt are you? Tenth rank. Is that the highest rank in the world? Yes. Or do you utilize it as high or low? Ten is anyway highest. Only one. What is Aikido? Aikido means combined with the universe itself. Combined, combined. with the universe itself. Yes. Yeah. Because Absolute universe is only one, and uh, two different power came out, and our relative uh, world came out. So everybody think only relative way, and forgot absolutely. So the universe is one, and we yes. are part of that universe, and yes. the key force yes. is that force that is yes. within us all. Yes. Now how do we activate that force? Uh, before we combine with universe, we have to control our mind and body together. Our mind and the body separate, how can combine with the universe? So how, how do you control your mind and body? We know mind moves body. In other words, mind over matters. If one thinks little, work at one's body, but everybody forgot it. So only, uh, some people only teach mind matters, forget body. Some mm -hmm. people, other side, only talk about body and forget mind. So difficult to combine mind and body together. But mind has rule of mind, body has rule of body. Have to know two rules. So I found four basic principles how to coordinate mind and body together. So I'm teaching it now. What are those four basic principles, Sensei? Um, in, uh, if I explain shortly, number one, keep one's one point. Keep one point. Yes. Where is that one? Where is that key two, point? Uh, uh, two inches below one's navel, not the navel. Not the navel, but two navel. inches below the navel. Two yes. Well, no right. mark. Yeah. No mark there. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. But uh, later I'll explain uh, uh, what is one point. Mm -hmm. uh, number two, relax completely. Yeah. Relax completely. Yes. Many people misunderstand. Uh, if you relax, very comfortable, but very weak. So at the important time, you cannot relax. So everybody becomes tense, nervous, cause many sickness. Mm -hmm. But I'm teaching real relaxation. Real relaxation is the strongest way. Mm -hmm. So most important time, have to relax. It's very difficult in, in urban life, in the city, to learn how to relax. No, no. Only in the deep mountain, relax, not so difficult. But the important thing is how to relax at one's daily life. To relax in yes. your daily life. Yes. What is the fourth point, Sensei? And next, number three, keep one's weight on the side. 
Because I didn't quite wait. Wait. Keep, wait. Oh, weight keep your weight under, under your side. Everything, mm -hmm. all the weight is on the side. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. human being, if you don't do nothing, yeah. must be weight on the side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll explain, please yes. think here. Yeah. Relax. This is not the relaxation. Because if you relax really, the weight of your arm should be on the side. Don't you think so? Yeah. Just mm -hmm. you think weight is on the side. Yes. Very beautiful. Right? Can't move her? Yeah. No. Well, no, I'm not to lift her up the chair. <laughs> yeah. This is relaxation. Okay, please think upper side. Think under side. Think there. upper side again. That's interesting. So in other words, so, just the thought process of the mind yes. has that much effect. Yes, human being, if even think little, work at one's body. Every time think kind way, face become kind face. Mm -hmm. Understand? Think in kind way in your face. Yes, will every time you think a uh, dirty way, face becomes dirty. Yeah. Marty? Oh, that's super. <laughs> How much do you weigh, hon? Me? Yeah. 97, I think. 97 pounds. Yeah, that's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. And the number four, extend the key. Extend the key. The key. Yes. Yeah. Uh, maybe I am just not understanding very well what the key is. Can the key, could the key be described as a battery within you? A, a energizing force yes. that is inside of us all. Yes. And you are learning, you are teaching people to direct that force. Yes. You know, um, just like hold the water in the ocean. While I'm holding water, this is my water. But water itself, it is ocean water. Don't you think so? Mm -hmm. Though don't take off, still water is continuing. Mm -hmm. Our living life, same thing. We hold the key with our body. That is I am. But key itself is key of universe, mm -hmm. always continuing. So we extend key well, so new key coming, always continuing. That is our living. To Western audiences, it becomes very difficult to get across to people what that key means. Yeah. We are so interested in overt acts. Yeah. And what you are saying is that we must turn to ourselves yeah. to, to make the change. Yeah. How, how did Aikido? get started. You, you told me stories of the warring tribes and, and uh, how the, the, the warlords got together and, 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 and developed the force. Maybe you might repeat that again, Marty. Sure, sure. Well, Aikido is uh, a product primarily of uh, the studies and the work that uh, Sensei has made. He, he started uh, during the uh, 1940s period and the earlier period and during his service. And uh, he studied uh, with the great master, O Sensei, and, and the, the uh, continuation. And this is a derivation, a blend of uh, uh, O Kendo and, and all the great arts. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's a refinement, distillation, and it unifies it with uh, universal force and mm -hmm. power. And uh, he's the man. You know? We have we have the had founder. we have been having a controversy here in the city of Chicago about the height of policemen. Yes. Mm -hmm. that, um, and our superintendent of police said that he felt that a bigger man, a man yes. my size, would command a lot more mm -hmm. respect yes. from uh, a, a possible assailant. And therefore, small people would have great difficulty um, uh, apprehending a, uh, a, uh, a, a robber or a thief or a murderer. Uh, does the size of a man have anything to do with key power? Yes, even a small person can catch a big uh, person. Yeah. If one don't train you well, you know, bigger body, stronger than smaller, than smaller people. Mm -hmm. But if you train you well, same thing. Because mm -hmm. body has weight, but mind has no weight. Even big men, his, weight, uh, his mind is no weight. Now, there have been so many stories about you, Sensei. One of them is that you are faster than a bullet. <laughs> and a person can pull a, uh, um, a, a gun, pull the trigger of a gun, and you can get out of the way of it before uh, the bullet goes out of the chamber of the gun. Is that true? <laughs> I cannot move a faster than you. He's just modest. <laughs> Sounds true. <laughs> I'm sure it's true. true. <laughs> <laughs> but when, uh, sure. I thought uh, how I police officer, now I have uh, 100 police captain in Hawaii. I taught mm -hmm. all the police officers in Hawaii. You that, taught most of the police, all of the police officers in, in Hawaii. Hawaii. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, sure. they asked me, when I hold a pistol and stop you, how you can move away? 
So he used the powder. If powder touch my body. Oh, he used the blank. Yeah. Uh -huh. right. If yeah. the powder uh, touch me, that, that means shoot me. Mm -hmm. So yeah. okay, try it. And he said, don't move, you know, yeah. hold up. So I did yeah. like this. If you move, I will shoot you. Okay. Then I moved and took, I took off his pistol. He yeah. moved and took his pistol away from him <laughs> <Yeah>. before? <laughs> yeah. And I hold, hold up. <laughs> yeah. Many yeah. times I did from front, behind, still half, far place. So they began to say like that, later I misunderstood, I can move faster than bullet. So you had one person in front of you with a gun, another person behind you. Hey, one time they did. So I asked the police officer, do you want to use the real bullet? Real bullets. Real bullets. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Think, oh, no, no, no. No takers. No, no, no. no, no, no. Shoot each other, that's why. <laughs> yeah, shoot each other. Because, so, you know, Neat. I don't uh, think about his, uh, the speed of uh, bullet. Human being cannot move so fast. What, yeah. what do you think about then? Uh, yeah. How can he pull the trigger and you get out okay. of the way? If he said, if you move, I will shoot you. Everybody think negative way. Yeah, so right. uh -huh. I cannot move. Yeah. Give up. But always I use my mind positive way. Yeah. That means I don't want to shoot you until you move. Very kind word. Very kind word. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you move, I will shoot you. That means I don't want to shoot you until you move. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Mm -hmm. So I trust him. Thank you very much. Stay calm. And when he wants to shoot, his mind work fast. And order come to his hand, finger. Then finger move. Then beauty to go out. Plenty time. Plenty time for yeah. you to be able to figure out when, when he thinks start, that he's going to do it here, and it comes move, all the way. Be able to go out. Between that, I can move like this. Can every human being on the face of the earth, given that they're not retarded or, or in some way organically sick, yes. can every human being learn key? Yes. And what good would it do them once they have learned it? Would it help them uh, walking down the streets of Chicago to... Uh, uh, from an assailant? Is it, would it help them with crime in the street? Could they go out and attack people and beat them up and, and become the, 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 the champion? あの、例えばこのこの世界の人ね、どういう人でもこの不具でない限り気をならい、そしてその仕方の街で平気でこう歩き、例えば誰か犯罪を起こす場合にその人を反対に倒すことができるか。uh, but I will teach my students to better not to go to dangerous place. <laughs> Stay out of dangerous <laughs> Stay out of places. Very good. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take a break. We'll be yeah, back right after these messages. We're back on Common Ground. Very seldom does the city of Chicago have an opportunity to see a sensei of this degree perform. Uh, we're going to watch it, and we're going to be talking about it as the sensei begins his demonstration. Sensei? Marty, this is now, a, what is going on here? Well, now he's going to demonstrate the various techniques and use of the bow, the bow kin, or the stick art, very ancient art. The uh, rules were in ancient times that one couldn't carry a sword unless you were a member of a certain feudal group. So uh, learn to get to be very skillful with uh, stick mm -hmm. art. And uh, religious persons particularly became monks as they went through the land, uh, it became more and more skilled in stick art. And then it went into a martial art. It's especially, really. So actually, it came from wartime where people did, had no well, weapons. It, it came during a, a time of life when there weren't many police forces and you had to be your own police person. Now, what is the sensei doing here? He's demonstrating the extension power, the, uh, the uh, extended arm. The, the arm the won't unbendable go up. arm is the... the un and, his, and his hand is, uh -huh. is absolutely... Oh, sure. There's no strength here. Wow. We, we don't use strength. We use... The uh, force of key, the spiritual force. Now, all of the men mm -hmm. who are who are there, he's now holding that one man back. Right, with his key. Three of them. With his key, right. And then yeah. he will bring their own. He'll lead their minds uh, so that they they will follow their minds. They have an, an opinion. They want to go to the ground. Don't get in the way of their opinion. That's why <laughs> he says it very cleverly. You know. Very now neat. he's a, now the, uh -huh. the sensei will be lifted up. Right now there, without using key, you can lift him. Mm -hmm. 
but uh, John Ely, uh, Sensei John, is now going to, aha, uh -huh, now with key in, you can't, can't do it. Not only that, you may uh, take a fall. <laughs> Very neat. This is Sensei Toyota. Sensei Toyota, he'll be teaching here in Chicago with the Chicago Key Aikido Club. And we're opening July 8th at 3726 North Broadway. With one finger, he's right, right, right. He's me. Then uh, that'll be Carl Frogner from the University of Chicago and Frank Hunter from the Chicago Key Aikido Club. Now they're pulling him with all the strength they oh, can. Oh, sure. Sure. Just the, the power of key just brings them in. Brings them together, yeah, right. Not only that, they're about to drop, yeah. How many years does it take to perfect this kind of mind? Uh, his type of mind? Yes. Uh, uh, I, I think he's backed up by spiritual illumination. I don't think we can relate it to years. Mm -hmm. I think he's, uh, it's a private thing, but uh, he's most unusual man, mm -hmm. most gifted. Uh, I'm sure he's been in the arts 40 years or longer, but uh, there's more to it than just that. Mm -hmm. Now, this you demonstration know. is the form demonstration that is constantly used. Right. And it is Politeness the... is a very big factor in our art. We must be polite. We May must we... be considerate. Mm -hmm. May we have a couple of more demonstrations, Sensei? Okay. A couple yeah. other techniques. You know. See, we're not relying on muscle, we're now, relying how on, did, on key here. Is he really force. trying to go after him? Oh, absolutely. Otherwise, it's not an effective attack, see. He's got to put his, his zip into it, so to speak, his strength. And in the process, then, he takes his mind and redirects his mind and renders him to earth. He helps purify his water. It's a purifying process. This is Sensei... And this is, uh, the gentleman is from the West Coast. This is Calvin Tabata. Calvin is 21 years old and has well, been studying. He's, he's a beautiful guy. He really that does he is. his thing. Very advanced man. And that's John Ely, our own special Chicago Ki Aikido. Now, what is the leader. sensei doing? He's got him pretty much immobilized. Right, and now he directs his mind. He just doesn't accept the attack and moves forward. Now he's going to drop it. Gets rid of the attacker. Now, it has been said that the police department, as we said in the first segment, mm -hmm. that the police department has said that people who are very small would be unable to immobilize larger and, and more powerful men with weapons in their hand. Oh, that's unreal. Uh, well, I, I'd hire a million five-foot-four guys uh, if, I, if they had anything like that, as far as skills well, go. Isn't it, isn't it possible? Yeah, super. One, look at this. Is it possible for him sure. to hit the sensei with no, the other hand? No, no, no. He's got him directed. He's got him on his toes. He's got him directed. This is a very traditional come-along technique. Now, does that hurt and, the Well, if you sensei? resist, you'll lose your arm. It goes out of socket, you know. Uh, you have to go where, <laughs> where you're directed by the key force. And then that's the finishing touch. We can put cuffs on him, you know, mm -hmm. if necessary. Yeah. See, that's, that's beautiful. Without any effort whatsoever, no, no, the utilization no. of no, the, the key force. No, the minute you start using muscle, forget it. You know, you uh -huh. know, you're just another muscle person. Now so. he's grabbed him by right, the chest. Eh? Right, right. You're just as uh, unworthy as your opponent. There's no room for muscle in this art. Does he have you? Is he? Is it sure, strong? Sure, sure, sure. But he's gonna, he's gonna break it. You'll see. He just extends. Beautiful. Drops his hip and he extends. Fantastic. Isn't that something? Maybe one more. We need more of this. Come on. We need more students. Yeah. Good. Multiple attack. You know. This is a multiple attack. Sure, one. sure. He won't accept an attack, you see. So he just there he keeps his key extended and he will not accept any transgression. Good luck. Yeah. That is amazing. And yeah. all of these men are very sure. highly trained sure. senseis themselves. Oh, absolutely. I think sure. that deserves a hand. Yeah. Yeah, very good. Fantastic. That's beautiful. Yeah. I've seen him throw 10 men like popcorn. If we can get the he camera back, we'll be... Yeah. We'll do a little more of Common Ground right after these messages. Thank you.